a notebook, empty luggage, tireless walks, and loss of cash are all you need in Yiwu, a place where small commodity businesses thrive and goods are sold at cheap wholesale prices. Hi, I'm now at the Yiwu International Trading Market. Many businessmen from Malaysia, Middle East, Africa and many more countries come to this place to get their supply of goods. Let us follow a group of Malaysians on their shopping spree here. Sylvie Chiu and her siblings, who are running an e-commerce portal together, come all the way from Malaysia to source their goods. They take a speed train from Shanghai and reach Yiwu in two hours. Waste no time, they start off their day visiting the international trading market on the 28 hectares area with over 10,000 stores where you can walk and shop till you drop. I have heard of this place for many people, especially my Malaysian suppliers. I got a lot of information on this place as it is a very famous market. My suppliers told me that the prices here are much cheaper than those offered in Guangzhou. Since my arrival here, I noticed there is a slight difference in the prices of the goods. I can now make comparison in terms of the price and the quality of the products. For Sylvie stocks up samples of bags and accessories, her elder sister Louise looks out for cartoon-related goods for their portal on which they sell their products to online customers. I cannot see many cartoons themed products here but I found some supporting items such as materials and accessory used for the costume. When they find something they like, they write down on their notebooks the contacts of the shops so that they can follow up with the operators if they were to get the stuff from them. I come here just to buy the items in the small volume as samples. If the items are suitable, then I will come here again to get more of them. There are a few items that suit my taste, but the prices are only slightly cheaper than those in the past. There are also some items that are a lot cheaper, but I have yet to sell them before. I have to take them back and see if I can buy more from the suppliers here. They walk into a store, selling women's accessories, before poaching more than a hundred bags from another bag specialty shop. And make sure their luggage has enough room every time they get something. I will bring these samples back to Malaysia and put them up to my portal to sell them to my customers. With the rising popularity of the city, operators and manufacturers of these small commodities work up quality control of their products. At the moment, we have maintained a consistent clientele and have seen an increase in our profit. Furthermore, the quality of our products is recognized by our customers. I have a Brazilian customer who comes here only two or three times a year. Whenever he comes, he will place his order and we will deliver the goods to him. Then, we will send him the latest designs of our products through the internet. If he is happy with it, he will continue to deal with us. We have a lot of customers from Russia, Europe, France, Italy, and Spain. Some of them have established a good relationship with us, and they come here every one or two months to source the supply of products. We must ensure the quality of our products because of competition. If you don't do so, you will lose your customers. We have many returned customers. Prior to their Yiwu trip, the siblings also visit the shop selling animation-related items and cosplay costumes in Shanghai. This time, I went to Shanghai to discuss about production, the price of delivery of goods. They also want to know if we want to act as their agent to sell their products, what will the price be? I also went there to check out the quality of their products and I am satisfied with the buset. Their price are quite good for us as we are getting the items directly from them. Previously, 
When I ask for some costume makers to tailor make costume, they charge us a hefty price. It's not a hard decision for the siblings to come to China. They know their profit margin will increase if they source their own stuff. Three years ago, when we first started this e-commerce business, we didn't sell our goods in big volume. So we didn't come to China to get our direct supply of goods. At that time, we got our supply from our Malaysian supplier and that's why the price were much more expensive. Now that our sales volume is increasing, we decide to come to China to get our supply and this will increase our profit margin by 50% to 70%. We brought 10,500 renminbi to China just to buy our samples and products and this doesn't include our accommodation. Even then, the money we brought was not enough to buy all the products we want. There are many products here that are suitable for sales on the internet and they are also cheap products. If there is an opportunity, of course I would like to go to other places such as Guangzhou and Hangzhou. I found information on this place in China and as far as I know, Guangzhou is a good place to look for these products. With bags full of goods, the siblings leave Yiwu with a smile. They know for sure they will make at least 50% more profit this time around. China is among the top choice countries for businessmen to source their products because of its cheap labor and competitive prices. Chinese manufacturers know that prices alone aren't enough to keep their customers, as the quality of their products is more important to ensure sustainable growth. From Yiwu, Chahoban, The Star, Malaysia.